Hey friends and newcomers, welcome. It's apple picking season. The host, The Crafty Quinn, and our co-host, Rebecca Virginia DIY, have challenged us to create at least two DIYs dealing with apple picking or apple picking season. Okay, I'm a Floridian. We pick citrus and mangoes, but I think I got this. Links to the host, co-host, and playlist are in the description box. Okay, I'm starting out with just a crate from Dollar Tree and an image that I found on Google of um, like an apple orchard, apple farm. So I want this to look just like, you know, a crate that they would, the company would be shipping their apples out in. So I'm just going to use my Elmer's glue stick. to try to make some faux apples. I have pomegranates, also the mini pomegranates from Dollar Tree. And so I'm thinking that I can get these to look like apples if I snip this part off because this is all foam. and kind of push this in so the bottom looks more like an apple and the top kind of smush that down as well and take my hot glue gun starts to take the shape of an apple. Add a bit of hot glue. And I have um, cherry stem. I'm just gonna snip a piece of my cherry stem. And then put that down in my hot glue. paint this with some bright red. I'm gonna do a couple more and then come back and paint them. Okay, here's all of my mini apples. I found a couple of larger mini pomegranates. And I did the same thing with them. There's a side view. Looks like a little apple to me. I hope you guys see it too and I'm not just being cuckoo. Little apples. So I have bright uh, red craft smart so I'm just gonna use this and give them um, a good coating so they all look like um, red delicious glossy red apples let's see how this red looks and if I don't like this then I guess I'll can I can use a uh, apple barrel So I did not like the look of that Craft Smart Red, so I switched to Bright Red by Apple Barrel. Yeah, Apple Barrel paint to paint my apples. The Bright Red was okay, but then I decided, eh, maybe a little darker. I mixed a bit of Jet Black by Apple Barrel with the Bright Red, and that gave me the deep red I was looking for.
So here they are with the paint dry. Some of them I coated fully, some of them I did little streaks. So they would look more like natural apples that have little hints of yellow and green to them. And some of them where there wasn't a lot of the foam that was taken out when I pulled the crown from the pomegranate, I just left them the two-tone that they were already. So then I added a bit of Spanish moss to my crate and loaded my apples into it. And here's my crate full of freshly picked mini apples. I think they're just adorable. Tell me, what do you think of these DIY apples? And here are just a few examples of some great crafts that the Crafty Quinn, Megan, has just recently done. Some fantastic fall items. Look at these cute mugs with the whipped cream and the cinnamon. Looks so yummy. And these great projects that Rebecca just did. Ten fall DIYs. Wow. Look at the truck. And she's got some awesome pumpkins in there. Great inspiration, guys. Please head over to their channels and subscribe. Look at this great Disney. Love Mickey and Minnie. for this next project i have a mason jar standing thick sign from dollar tree an apple image i found on google um, some burnt umber and light mocha i'm just going to start by taking this apart Once I got the paper removed, I put a bit of the burnt umber and the light mocha together so I could come up with a color that kind of looked like apple butter in a jar. I added just a little bit of yellow because I didn't like the way the first two colors look mixed together. And once I got this fully mixed in, I was satisfied with the color. With the paint fully dry, I was ready for my label for this jar. And I found this image on Google and I'm just gonna attach it with a bit of Elmer's glue stick. I then painted the top of the jar with a bit of silver paint and when that dried, I reattached the galvanized piece to the top of the jar with a bit of hot glue. With my a galvanized piece attached, I want to add writing to my jar. And I'm going to use acrylic paint markers that I found on Amazon. They have a fine tip and I was pressing a little bit too hard. So I got a little bit of a splatter. But once I got used to the way it worked, I went ahead and finished and I wrote out Granny's apple butter. And then I went back over all of my letters with a second coat. I chose to make this apple butter jar because it's a memory from childhood. Being at my granny's house, we would have peanut butter and apple butter sandwiches all the time as a snack. And so when I was thinking about what I could make as a project, naturally apple butter came to mind. With my lettering complete, I added the twine bow back to the jar and I just looped it back around and added just a bit of hot glue to attach. If you're enjoying this content, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Not a super complicated project, but very nostalgic for me. I think this is just the cutest jar. Tell me what do you think of Granny's apple butter? this project I have a wooden apple I found this at the family dollar it was one dollar and we love Dutch apple pie um, I started making it a few years ago and I turned my family onto it we just absolutely love it it's become one of our favorite fall pies 
We love it because it's not like the regular apple pie. It's not super sweet. The tartness of the Granny Smith apples really comes through um, with the lemon and the sugar and the cinnamon. So I'm gonna mix a few colors together to try to get um, a nice green for my apple. And then I'm gonna paint this and I wanna add the recipe for a Dutch apple pie onto my apple. And this is all apple barrel paint. Again, how appropriate, apple barrel. Kelly Green. Once I had a good first coat, I added a bit more white to the paint so I could streak through um, a little bit of a lighter color through to add a little variation. Then I used the Kelly Green to color in the leaf and the burnt umber for the stem. Then I decided to darken the apple up a bit, so I just added a bit more Kelly Green to my light mixture, and then I left just a few spots of the light showing so I still could have a variation in the color, but overall, the color of the apple would be darker. And then I used black 3D paint just to accentuate the lines in the leaf and the stem. And then just a wee bit of green puff paint as well on the leaf. everything's all dry on my apple so what I have is the ingredient list for a Dutch apple pie written here and I found these really cute pie clips so I think I'm gonna go ahead and attach the pie clip to here and then I can have my little recipe like that and I'll just paint these up with um, I use these paint pens again. I initially had printed out the recipe for a Dutch apple pie with all the steps and all the ingredients, but it was too big for the apple. So then I went ahead and just put all the ingredients on this index card. But I will have a link in the description box for the Betty Crocker website if you want to go there and learn how to make the pie. It's really delicious and a friend of mine turned me on to this pie a few years ago and I absolutely love it. I mixed the burnt umber and that mocha color again so I could color in the pie crust. And um, I was trying to get like that buttery, <laughs> flaky brown color that you get when your pie is ready. But I don't know. It just kind of looked like a half done pie crust. So I just ended up going around it and adding some little accents with the brown acrylic marker. How 
beautiful these stickers are. And they've got a green apple and a pie. Oh, they're so cute. I love that pie one, but it's a little bit too big. So I can't put it on there, but I'll take the apple. And just stick that one on there. Then I just added a bit of hot glue to attach the clip to my large apple and then just put my recipe inside of it. And then I wanted this to stand up. So I just hot glued a few tower blocks to the back so the apple would stand. And I ended up painting the tower blocks the same color as the apple just so it wouldn't stand out. I think this big apple recipe holder turned out great. Tell me what do you guys think of it? Well, how do you like these apple crafts? I think everything turned out so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed these projects today. Please enjoy the entire playlist with these talented creators.